Are you guys coming over here to sleep in these beds? I would not recommend that. Go, go somewhere else, guys. This is dangerous. There's zombies coming. There are zombies coming. What are you guys doing? You guys are crazy. Hey, how's it going, guys? Spy here, and welcome back to another episode of Colony Survival. So last episode, we finished the inner wall of our colony here. We got a ton of guards guarding the wall from the horrors of the night. We got a bunch more colonists all over doing farming, mining, crafting, and stuff of all that sorts. And... In between the episodes, I finished the moat around the wall here, and this episode, we are going to be filling this moat up with water. Well, trying to. I'm not really sure how to do that quite yet, because I don't think there's any buckets or anything. So what I think we have to do is we have to root the water from a, another area all the way over here into our moat. And I also have to get it into the back moat here. I'm not sure how that really works, but we're gonna do our best. This is Operation Moldy Water. Moldy, mo, moldy water. It sounds like moldy water. Water moat. Operation Water Moat. There we go. All right. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go exploring a little bit. We're gonna find some water. Uh, oh, oh, right here, right here. I totally forgot about this. I knew this was here, but um. Yeah, there's a little lake here. Can we swim? Can we swim? Oh, uh, we could swim. But geez, the water is loud. All right. So, for Operation Moldy Water, we are going to root the water all the way to our moat. Wait, um, is this the right level? Because this is one, two, three blocks down. Our moat is just two down from this level. Oh man, that, that really sucks. How are we gonna do that? I have no clue. We're gonna have to find a water source on this level, on, on top of this level to get in there. That's, that's not good. And it's almost night. I'm gonna have to get some arrows out to, to defend myself against the zombies so they don't eat my brains. And let's go look for some water over here. There's no water anywhere. What the heck? This is not good, guys. We might have a moatless, a waterless moat, a moldy moat. We might have a moldy moat on our hands. It's a, it's a dry season. Another thing we could do this episode, I think, is we might be able to build some houses out here. I want to build some houses for our colonists. So we could build it on the outside of this wall here, maybe like over here along the wall. And then we're going to have another wall going around the houses and stuff and then outside the wall like i said last episode we are going to have our farms and stuff out there huh how are we gonna get this water over there i'm not really sure but for now i think what i'm gonna do is i am going to root the water all the way over there we're gonna have like a little tunnel underground i guess that's gonna be fun okay get ready for some loud water noises and once we are done digging our tunnel to our moats i will break that block and hopefully it will flood towards our moats and fill it right up. I might have to dig the moats one more deeper. It's just for looks anyways, guys. It doesn't matter if there's water or not in the moats. But you know what? It's not a moat without water or spikes. I guess a spike a spike pit would probably be better, even though the zombies don't really jump in it anyways. But I, I want it to be kind of cool looking. All right, so the tunnel is done. All the way from that little lake, we are going to have to dig our moats one more deeper to have water in them. It's not a very big deal, but it's just annoying. It's just annoying. Okay, I'll do this really quick, and we will we will have water in our moats, even though it's not very deep. But it looks okay, I guess. Okay, so it is now day. Look at our workforce going to work. Getting our colony nice and... Rich, I guess. Oh, geez. A lot of them went left. I didn't even realize there were so many that went left. Why are they all going left when there's a right to the farms there? Oh, wow. I didn't realize I had that many people. All right. All right. Okay, let's hop down here. I'm going to go through our tunnel. We're going to go through the other tunnel. And we are going to break that block and watch our moat be flooded. All right. I'm going to do this really quick. And we're going to have a way to jump out. We're, we're going to have to try to beat the water. I don't think that's possible, but... Oh man, here we go guys, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Here we go, break that, and let's run! 
Okay, it's starting to flood. I can see it. Oh, wow. It's not even that fast. Okay, we can beat it. We can beat it. Okay, here we are. Jump up. Break these. And we are good. Okay, let's watch this flood. Here it comes. Slowly and steadily. Hopefully it works. I don't think it actually drains the lake that is over there, but I'm not quite sure. Come on, any time now. Guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? It's gonna... We're gonna have a moat with water. You guys are gonna be happy that there's water that you can probably not drink because I wouldn't drink moat water. Moat water is probably pretty moldy. Moldy moat water. I don't know where I'm getting at with this, but come on. Why is it taking so long? It should have been here already. I don't... I don't really know. If I jump down there, it's probably gonna show show up and I'm gonna have to jump up really quick. Oh, there it is. Oh, yep. Yeah. Run, run. Okay, here it comes. Now it is spreading into the moat. It's nice and shiny. It doesn't really look like water. But there we go. We got a moat with water. A complete moat with water. It's just going to fill up. Look at it spread all the way down here. And let's go check the inside to see if it is going to spread in there as well. I'm pretty sure it will go into that, that little tunnel there into our main moat here. Can't wait to see this finished. Even though I wish it was a little higher, the water, but what can we do about it? Not much, I don't think. Well, if you fall in there, guys, you're in trouble. You're in a you're in a load of trouble. Here it goes. Perfect. Might take a little bit. The water doesn't spread too fast. I'm gonna have to move this hut here because we kind of have a imperfection in our moat here. Although I do have a tunnel underneath. And I could probably just do this. Yeah, that, that works. Just don't fall in, guys. Don't fall in. You'd be in a little bit of trouble if you fall in. I could probably make this look like a jawbridge as well. I, I I like that idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that already, but the moat isn't very, very long or wide, so we can't really make it look too great. It'll be something, though. I'm just going to break this here. And we're going to try something new with this. We're going to have a tunnel going underneath to help it spread a little bit. Even though I think it is almost done already. Yep, there it is. It's not going to be anything too crazy. Just just like that. There we go. Kind of looks like a jawbridge. Kind of, I guess. Uh, and then we can add our, our shrubbery here. Just like this. Cool. It looks very, very welcoming. I don't know what else to really add to this to make it look more like a jawbridge because there's not too much blocks for decorations quite yet. Eventually there will be. For now, that looks great. Okay, so let's go in here, check this out. It is complete. Pretty cool looking. And now we could just go down here and we could block off these tunnels uh, just like this. And we are done. We're done. We're done our moat. It was a success, even though the moat water is a little low. It's a dry year, guys. It's a dry year, so the water's a little low. We had to use it for our colonists. But I think what we're going to do now, once it is day again, we're going to come up with a concept for some houses. I don't know if I should put any colonists in there yet or not, because the zombies might get them, because there's no defense out here. This is like the free man's land right now. This is a dead zone. Don't go out here unless you want to get eaten. I can already see them coming. That's really creepy. That's super creepy. And then once we have some houses and stuff set up and more defenses, I'm going to start building the wall. I think that's going to be left for another episode, though, because the walls take ages. And the last wall out here is probably going to be pretty big. So I'm probably going to have to clear a lot of these trees like this. Watch out, zombie. I'm just chopping this tree down. And I think I'm going to have to do some landscaping as well. We're going to have to move some of these work areas outside the wall once it is built as well and yeah it's a whole load of work it's a whole load of work and things to do but uh yeah if you guys have any suggestions for that at all let me know but for now i'm gonna fight some zombies with my colonists and we're gonna wait for day bam take this and that nice shot i'm a pro i'm a pro zombie killer bam bam okay i'm kind of pro not really and we have 2,200 food per day, which means we can get some more colonists. I don't have any more places for beds, but we could probably put some in the towers if we need to. I I think that's... I think that would be safe. 
there are sometimes guard houses inside towers. So I think we could probably just break this out like this and add some floors in here. And these would be like guard houses. Okay, so we got the last three beds in this tower. We got three there, three there, three there, and three there, which equals 12 extra beds. So we're going to hire some more colonists here for defense duties. We got six. We can get four more. I don't know if that's going to really throw our food up a lot or not. But there we go. We got 12. We got 12 unemployed people doing nothing at all. We should use them as guardsmen because... Once we hire more people, the more zombies come at night. Okay, we'll get some quivers ready. I think I already had some in there, but that's fine. How many did I have? Ten. Okay, that's fine. We'll throw some of them up here in these towers. One there. One there. I should really remove this tree, though. We're going to go over to this tower, add two more, and then we'll still have eight unemployed people, which we might turn into some farmers and flax farmers. I'm not quite sure yet uh where should we throw this should they go on the outer outer there and outer there i don't know where to throw these last guys we should probably use them as farmers maybe some defense over here once we get the houses that might be useful okay one here and then two on this wall as well bam our keep is defended and now, we can start building some houses for our colonists, even though I don't know if it's safe to keep them in there until we get more guards on the outer side of our colony. So, we're going to come up with some concept houses for the colonists. We're going to start building them over here. We don't want them too close to the moat because then they might um, play around. The kids might play by the moat and fall in and then they'll have uh, free swimming lessons. There you go. Yeah. That's how it usually goes, I guess. We're going to come up with some concept houses here. We're going to use logs. We're going to use planks. We're going to use bricks. I'm not really sure what to use for these houses. They're like low-class houses because they're outside the keep. Um, hmm. These are going to be some pretty big houses because we want a lot of people living in them. Uh, it's not going to be like family houses. It's going to be like a camp house where a bunch of people live in it together. Okay. Let me just place down the beds. That might be easier. Okay. There we go. This is going to be the size of the houses here. Like I said, it's more like a camp house. People just live here. That is starting to come along. Where are you guys coming over here to sleep in these beds? I would not recommend that. I would not recommend that. Go somewhere else. Go, go somewhere else, guys. This is dangerous. What are you guys doing? These aren't beds. These aren't for sleeping. No, these aren't for sleeping, guys. You guys are in trouble. You guys are in trouble. I I really need to remove these beds. Go, go sleep somewhere else. Go sleep somewhere else. That's right. Go sleep in the keep. Oh, man. Get running, guys. You guys got to get running right now. There's zombies coming. There are zombies coming. What are you guys doing? You guys are crazy. Get in there. Quick. Uh, we got we got guardsmen on the, on the walls. They're safe. They're safe. My safety? I don't know. I'm going to keep building this house and see how it looks. If you guys... Like this design, let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any other designs as well, let me know, and I'll, I'll try to go with that one. Okay, for the for the doorway here, we're going to have this kind of wood. Wait, should we, use, should we use straw for the roofs? Straw or leaves? Straw might look a little more shanty. Shanty, is that a word? A little more cheap and mass-produced looking. So we might go with, we might go with straw. A straw roof. I think they do that. Maybe. And there we go. We have a cheap little house. That looks great. That looks really great. Maybe we can remove some of this here and add it like that. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to put anyone in here quite yet. I'm going to add some torches to the outside here. Maybe one. Then on the inside we'll have a couple. There we go. And run away because that zombie's going to bite me. Not so fast, buddy. And he's dead. There are a lot of zombies. Now that we have a lot of colonists, we're using a lot of arrows. And our food is pretty well managed. We could probably add a few more guardsmen up on the wall there to help defend. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I don't have anyone on this side, though. 
Why didn't I do that? I don't know. Okay, we'll have two guys here. So we got a little house design. We got our moat. We got a bunch of new colonists. And if you guys like this house design, let me know. I'm probably going to build some more in between the episodes because these can hold five colonists per house. And that is pretty great. It could probably hold more, but for aesthetic looks, I'll probably just only have about five five or so beds in there at a time. Then we're going to have them all around our keep there. We got a bunch of guards on the walls defending it. But I think we're going to have to have another wall going around up along this hill and up those hills. I really don't want to landscape all this. It would take forever, but another wall on the outside would probably be helpful against zombies. And then we can have farms and stuff out there. How do you guys how do you guys like that idea? And if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.